As Facebook begins the move from FBML to iframes, we thought it would be of great value to create an FBML to iframes converter. So that's exactly what we've done, and I'm going to show you a live demo here today. First, notice my products tab over here on my fan page. I know it's hosted by static FBML due to the little gray icon next to it. When I click it, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like. A share button, a video, and a clickable link. This screen should look familiar to a lot of you. You put in the tab name, products, and then you have the hard coding behind it. Some of you may recognize some of this coding. Well, with the new app that Azure has in its app suite, I'm going to copy this code and again convert it into an iframes application that does not use static FBML. First, I'm going to go into the Azure editor and click create a new tab. And I'm going to call it products. Once the tab is created on my dashboard, I simply click edit. This will bring me into the Lejeure backend editor. Next, you can probably guess which app I'm going to use from our sidebar. The convert FBML to iframe application lets you do just that. Take any static FBML, again, copied directly from back here, and pasting it directly into our app and clicking done. Then you simply have to edit the length of the page to be sure your entire design fits, as mine does now. And just like that, you click Save and Publish. You can refresh your fan page, and you'll see a new application created called Products. The way you can know that this is built through an iframe Facebook application is because of the little symbol next to it. The default symbol for the iframe or Facebook application are these gears. You'll notice when I click to go to that tab, it renders just like the static FBML tab did. You have the share button which works fine, you have the video which works no problem, and also the clickable image. Again, all of this I just copy and pasted static FML directly into iframes. Kind of a cool feature. Moreover, we even converted advanced things that static FML could do, like the reveal tab. You'll notice here if I haven't liked the page, I'll see this cover image. And after I click like, it'll render all of the hidden content that only fans can see. So just like that, you can now take your static FBML applications, all of this messy code, and drag it and dump it right into our converter, our FBML to iframe converter, in the Lejeure app suite. Alrighty guys, take care.